Father Augustus Tolton is now a step closer to becoming the first African-American priest to become a saint. Jim Dish has that story from St. James Chapel at the Quigley Center. In official Catholic terms, the gathering was the proclamation and first session of the canonical trial for the cause for sainthood for Father Augustus Tolton. In short, it's a big deal. With this ceremony this evening, uh, we have put in place the juridical structure for taking testimony and examining documents. It's putting the staffing in place, and officially appointed by the Cardinal with all the signatures and so forth. And the next stage is really to begin interviewing witnesses. And uh, Rome has given us the list of questions to ask to surface the kind of information that they're interested in in order to present the final dossier to the Holy Father. Father Tolton was the first American diocesan priest of African descent. He was born the son of slaves in Missouri, studied for the priesthood in Rome because no American seminary would accept him, was ordained in Quincy, Illinois, and later started a parish for black Catholics in Chicago. When news first broke several months ago that Father Tolton was being considered for sainthood, family members were thrilled. When I first heard it, I said, Uncle Gus, you have not been forgotten for all the hard struggle, the work, trying to create a place for worship for black Catholics and other nationalities just to be free to worship God, just for an Asian, a white person, just an African American just to kneel together and worship our Creator. That's what it's all about, and that's what he was trying to do. As far as the African American community is concerned, he's one of us and he's a link with our ancestors who obviously bore the brunt of slavery and struggled in order to obtain freedom in our democracy. As far as the Catholic Church is concerned, he, he's a priest, priest. He's an ideal priest of everything we know a priest should be. As an African-American priest, he had some insurmountable odds to uh, jump over, uh, but he leaves, around, he leaves behind a precious legacy of memory an inspiration for priests and people at large. Bishop Perry says it's difficult to estimate how long the process for sainthood for Father Tolton will take. Among other things, a miracle attributed to Father Tolton needs to be documented. Whatever the timeline, it will be a day of celebration for the church, the Archdiocese of Chicago, and of course, the family. I'm looking forward to that day. Yes, I am. I'm just so thrilled that I come from a bloodline of such holiness. You know, Christ has always been in my life it, because of Father Tolton. He is the foundation of our family, knowing God. Him and his mother, Martha Tolton, introduced us to Father Tolton. And from my grandmother on to my mother, we worship God because of him. We invite you to visit the official website for Father Tolton's cause, www.toltoncanonization.org. I am Jim Dish reporting for The Church, the Cardinal, and you. So now the diocesan uh, process is officially initiated. That's right. This was your uh, initiative, yeah. and uh, it's a very exciting one for the Archdiocese. Well, it is. It uh, started uh, to brew around, be kicked around in my own mind for, because of the year for priests. There have been holy priests in the history of the priesthood in this country and in the priesthood in the Archdiocese of Chicago. And Tolton is, I think, one who uh, comes to mind as a priest who suffered a lot uh, because of the historical circumstances in which he lived. Uh, he was the first African-American, the son of a slave woman and a slave man born in slavery himself to be ordained a priest and sent back to this country by the Roman authorities who said, you come from an enlightened country, they should accept you. He was going to go and work in Africa. They, the Rome sent him back here and, and he was accepted and he wasn't. Uh, he did better up here than he did in Quincy in southern Illinois, but it was hard. And yet in the midst of the hardship, he was very joyful. And that's what convinced me maybe it's time to declare Tol Tolton a saint to the Catholic Church as a holy priest who despite the suffering, uh, was never angry and was always persistent uh, in his helping people to understand who Christ is and was joyful and died at a relatively young age at a uh, heat stroke. Uh, so uh, I'm very pleased that this has come along. Uh, Bishop Perry is the postulator, the one who takes care, care of the cause here. There's somebody in Rome uh, who's also doing it over there. And what we have to do is just put his life together 
It's in the form of a kind of a trial. They have to show he's heroic in his virtues, so they go through all the virtues, they go through his life, and then when it's all set, they can say, yes, there's evidence of heroicity, of virtue there, but then we wait and see if the Lord wants to corroborate that judgment, and that's why a miracle is necessary uh, before Tolton can be beatified. A wonderful example, not only for our clergy, but mm -hmm. for all of us. Sure.